I am here to talk to you about our air fryer. So where are our air fryer fans? If you already have the deluxe air fryer or if it's on your wish list or um, let me know in the comments. Let us know if you've got it, if you want it. If you've got some tips and tricks or favorite things you do for it, I would love to hear what you have to say. So please share, all right, please share. Hang with me in this video if you have an air fryer and you're interested in using it more, or if you are considering it and you wanna know more about it, this uh, demonstration video is for you, okay? I'm gonna go over the accessories, some features of the air fryer, uh, and it's gonna take us just a few minutes. So if that's interesting to you, be sure and uh, watch it through. Let me know any questions that you have. Uh, message me or put it in the comments. It doesn't matter, but I'll be happy to answer your questions and uh, whatever you may have. All right, here we go. The air fryer has several functions. Air fry, bake, roast, reheat, rotisserie, and dehydrate. All right, so um, if you're anything like me, I, I was intimidated by the air fryer. Um, I didn't know how to use it. And mostly in our family, all we did was use it kind of like a microwave. We would reheat food, or uh, then we branched out and got brave and put frozen food in there, like chicken nuggets, uh, taquitos, pizza rolls, and things like that. And then last um, fall, I decided I really wanted to learn about the air fryer and um, went through the Season's Best Cookbook. This is the Spring Summer 2020 Cookbook and made the recipes that used the air fryer. So I personally made the air fryer coconut shrimp in the air fryer it was all good. Every single one of these was so good. The stuffed mushrooms, the spicy cauliflower bites, and y'all both of those sauces are really good too. And then there were a couple of chicken recipes. Oh, I forgot. The air fryer caught to so the fish. Um, the fried chicken for the fried chicken salad. We made the salad and the whole thing. And the air fryer chicken parmesan. So uh, last fall, I don't know if you knew me then, but we, our family of five was living in our camper while we were um, in transition, moving, and I cooked in this all the time. So if you're using it only to reheat food, you're really missing out. It can do a lot of things. And all of those recipes I just shared with you, I personally made, they were delicious and the recipes were easy to follow. So um, that's my first tip number one is get you, if you're interested in one of those recipes, um, uh, leave a comment, leave a comment and let me know and I will get those recipes to you. I don't know that this cookbook is still available, but I can definitely hand pick the recipes and get those to you. Okay, so with that said, I feel like I got to know the air fryer. Um, we use it a lot more and love it more okay because it's an investment when you choose to purchase it and uh, you want to get your money out of it right get its use out of it all right so another thing is what it comes with and then the accessories that you can get with it okay we've got the skewers the rotating basket a mess catcher fruit leather trays like to make fruit roll-ups this small stone bar pan and the two small modular sheet pans that all fit in here and the rotisserie skewer um, prongs, okay? These were for your rotisserie chicken, all right? So I wanna go over those with you and um, just show you a few things. One thing that I have learned from customers and even from some honest family members is that um, not everyone is using their items because they don't know how they work, all right? and if I get it, I didn't use things, you know, until we really get brave with it or try a specific recipe. Um, it can kind of get there, sit on the shelf and collect dust, and that is not what I want for you. So, I'm gonna start with what we use the most. So just the reheat function. The reheat function we use all the time. Um, I'm not that mom that cooks every night 
by any means, but when I cook, I cook a lot and I purposefully try to cook things that we can make and take, like reheat and out the door. Um, the kids are 12, 15, and 16. My husband and I both work from home and I just don't wanna be cooking all day, every day. Um, you know, that's not fun, but I enjoy cooking. And when I cook, I like to cook a lot. And I really, lately this school year, have been mindfully planning things that we can reheat, that the family likes, um, so that, that they're just there in the fridge to limit the out to eat craziness, fast food and out to eat that I just don't think is healthy all the time. So. Um, we make breakfast burritos, sausage, egg, and cheese breakfast burritos, and then regular burritos like, you know, meat, beans, cheese, all rolled up. Those reheat fantastically in the air fryer. Um, if you, <laughs> if you make them and you just reheat them in the microwave, then, uh, they're soggy. So if you choose to reheat them in the air fryer and they're nice and crispy and they taste really fresh and they're a hot hit around here. The next thing is our stone bar pan. So this small stone bar pan fits in the air fryer. All right, so those of you that don't know that, game changer, game changer because you can bake. You can bake cookies. Um, I think fam families that just have, you know, a couple of people, a single person, or like my mom, it's my mom and her husband who are in their home most days. Most of the time, it's just the two of them. Or me if I have time alone and want a couple of chocolate chip cookies those are my favorite um, you can just put a couple bake them and they're nice and fresh which is great uh, that's or anything messy messy you want a bottom for it the this fits in the air fryer and of course stoneware is amazing the next thing this is brand new these are our modular sheet pans okay uh, these come in a set of three. There are two this small size and one that's the size of these put together, okay? The small ones fit in the air fryer. That is exciting because we have a brownie uh, mix recipe that's, uh, it's very free. It's very like gluten-free, nut-free, all the things free, and you can bake it in here too is awesome 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 i was so excited i did bake the brownies in this modular sheet pan in the air fryer to try them and they are good okay the other thing is new brand new this fall this is called the mess catcher this comes in two pieces okay this is one mess catcher and you have your metal tray, and then you have your mess catcher part. So this is silicone, and it's got the metal around it to keep it sturdy. So it goes on there. And to use it, you just take one of these out and pop that in there instead, okay? So I think that is great. This drip pan on the bottom gets a workout around here, so that's really great. The other thing, these aren't brand new, but our fruit leathers, okay? If you wanted to make your own fruit roll-ups for your family, um, especially I'm thinking of families that might need to be cautious because someone's allergic to something or you really want to limit sugar uh, whatever reason that you you just like making your own homemade treats lots of people do that with the granola bars and different snacks so this is another snack you can make your homemade fruit roll-ups so these are called fruit leather trays because of course fruit roll-up is trademarked and we can't call them that all right so these are silicone they have the metal to keep them sturdy and it's comes as three so when you order this three trays come because you can fit three in there at the same time those are nifty okay then we have this is for your chicken when if you want to rotisserie a chicken okay and I'm gonna put those out all right we have a rotate button and a light so if you 
I'm gonna just show you this, y'all, because this is part of the things that people don't use. When you open this out of the package, it comes in many parts. You have to take this little thing, this little screw, and you loosen it, okay? That's how that works. So you can position this in your chicken, get your chicken all ready to go, nice and seasoned, however you want. Um, tie it up how you want, and then you're gonna put the rod through your chicken, poke this part in the chicken, and you're going to tie that down. Tie it down, you're just gonna tighten the screw. You're gonna tighten the screw, okay? Just hand tight, and you'll do that on both ends. And that's how they store, you, if you're gonna store it, um, you just store it and leave the little screw in there so it doesn't get lost, okay? And you can do a rotisserie chicken in here. Now, I'm gonna show you a tip on the bar because the rotisserie, we have three accessories that come with this bar, okay? One is gonna be the rotisserie chicken one, okay? The other one, this is the skewers like for K-bobs or shish kebabs, I've heard them called both. Um, you take your, left one off so I can show you. Okay, so there are eight, eight places. You can do eight shish kebabs. You load your skewer on with your, your meat or your veggies, whatever you want on there. Then you're gonna take it, let's see if you can see that. And um, I found it the easiest to put the middle part through the little circle first, okay? And then you're just gonna squeeze this clip. This squeezes, you'll just squeeze it down and make it fit in there. And then it latches on, so those don't move. So then when that's in there and it's gonna rotate, um, they stay sturdy. So what I was gonna tell you about this bar is that inside the air fryer, on the far sides, um, right there, you can see that one and there's one over there, that is the little bracket where the bar has to be in there just right so that when you click on the rotate button, this bar rotates. So if your chicken is on there, or if your shish kebabs are on there, or if you're using your french fry basket, um, that it actually rotates, okay? So here's my tip for you on anything that you need to rotate. And I'm just gonna show you, so. Um, this little part and this little part have to go in there just right. And I'm gonna have to walk around the counter to kind of show you this. But you're going to place it in there, hang on. All right, on the left-hand side, and then you're gonna, oh, my light went off. I had it open too long. So once you get it on there, okay, you're gonna wanna slide it to the left. If it's just sitting there, even though it might be correct on that right-hand side, you're gonna wanna make sure it's in there on the left. I don't know if you heard that click, but for whatever reason, your you're having problems with the rotating feature on here, it's because it's not clicked in on the left. So that motor is actually on the left, you'll click it over. And then when you shut it, I don't know if you're gonna be able to see through here, you can tell it to rotate. Oh, I have to put it on. All right, and so that's rotating. Um, I don't think you can see it. But that is the trick to it. So when I first used this to make some french fries, I had a hard time getting it to rotate and that is the tip, all right? So that's no matter if it's with your skewers, your chicken, or your french fry basket, you're gonna wanna just make sure it's in there to the left. You should scoot that sucker over. Okay. Um, so then I did show you the skewers, but I'm going to take this apart for you real quick. This is another intimidating thing when it just shows up in all of its plastic. 
and many parts, all right? So these skewers are each individual skewers, all right? So there are eight of them. They're gonna come in a little plastic thing all together. And I just showed you how they put on there. <laughs> this was comical. So this end has the little square, the little rectangle, and this end has the circles, all right? So the tip of it into the circles, this part, you're gonna squeeze it in there until it slides in and then it's secure, okay? This has the exact same thing as the chicken one. It has the little pins, okay? Um, the little screws there on the end. So you can actually, when you're ready to eat, just take that off all in one fell swoop. It comes like this. Okay, those little pins are on there. It just comes like this. These two come packaged together. And then your, your middle bar is by itself as well. All right, so it makes them easy to store. Everything can go in the dishwasher, which is awesome. It can all go in the dishwasher and then you can store it easier because it comes apart. Okay, um, and then I kind of showed you a rotating basket, but it works the exact same way. Here's your metal clip. You're gonna fill it with your french fries or your whatever else you wanna rotate in there, and then you'll close it up. Um, one tip, going in, you can handle this thing all you want with your hands. Coming out, all of these coming out, you're gonna get this handy dandy handle. You are gonna wanna use it because that is gonna be hot. Okay, and you, you pick it up like that. Okay, just goes on there and it comes out of the air fryer really easily. Um, last but not least, my family loves our little grippers or our little shark grippers when handling things out of the air fryer. And it just depends on the person in the house, which one they choose. Um, because these metal pieces do get hot, okay? So when you're taking stuff in and out, these are fantastic for the little trays. And then um, these are also fine for the trays. Just depends on your preference, all right? But my, my kids, my husband, everybody, some people like these and some people like these in our family. So we use both for this all the time. Um, I think that's all. Uh, I just wanted to make sure that you know you can air fry, bake, roast, like your chicken, rotisserie, um, reheat and then dehydrate. And I don't think I mentioned that you can also dehydrate your, um, your meat and make your own beef jerky. That's a very popular thing to do with it, to use that dehydrate function or to make your own dry fruit. Um, all of that can be done in here. So that was long. Thank you so much for hanging in there with me and learning about the air fryer. If you have a question that I did not cover, please comment, let me know what it is. I will be happy to answer your questions and get you to loving your air fryer and using it as much as you can. All right.